So hello everyone, uh, my name is Molly and I am going to be talking to you as Phil said about partnerships between students and staff in higher education. For a little bit of context, um, I've just finished my second year on the BA Education Studies uh, program at UCL and my first year was entirely online due to the pandemic. So coming into my second year, um, I hadn't really built those connections that I had kind of expected to build and I was feeling a little bit disconnected from my cohort and from the staff and, staff and students at the institution. And I also felt a bit of disconnect from the institution itself because it was physically not possible to, to go there. So coming into my second year, um, I really wanted to feel that sense of inclusion again, um, like I had at sixth form. And I wanted to find some connection, but I also felt kind of a sense of responsibility um, because everyone was talking about this new normal that we were going to come into after being online for a year. And I really wanted to make sure that this was something that um, students had a voice on as well and, and were able to say, look, we need to bring some of these um, positives from being completely digital and, and all of the technological kind of improvements that we had made and, and staff had made. Um, but also uh, we need to bring in some of um, some more kind of connection and community opportunities uh, for students to really feel comfortable in in this new environment and, and having hybrid um, kind of lessons this year. Uh, so I kind of felt a purpose and a responsibility. And then finally, I also felt like I really wanted to understand the institution and kind of the behind the scenes, um, because as a student, I was walking in and I was feeling like, OK, I'm coming for I'm coming for classes and lectures and seminars, but I don't feel like I have a, a, a bigger purpose in the institution. And this was a problem for me. I wanted to feel like I belonged and like it was a space that I could come into and, and feel like I was doing something in. And so what have I done this year? Well, I, I decided to kind of take on a lot of different roles, maybe a few more than I should have given the uh, amount of work that, that there was. But um, I really enjoyed doing this and collaborating with staff on certain projects. And so I thought I would share with you some of the benefits that I think the staff found and students found um, in these roles and, and that I personally found. Um, so as a Changemaker Student Fellow, I was involved a lot in talking with um, different staff members on projects that they felt really needed some student engagement in. So, for example, I was helping with uh, organising the CAN conference, which is a conference all about student staff partnerships, which was great for me because I got to reflect on a lot of the student staff partnerships that I had been kind of engaged with. But I think it also helped the staff see uh, another perspective to the conference and think about things from um, from a wide range of views. There are, there are quite a few student fellows um, engaged in this. So that was that was a really great experience kind of helping organize that. And then in, in terms of the lead department and module representative role, I was in charge of uh, kind of representing my department at various levels in different meetings and really helping um, engage with staff in terms of in terms of what needed to be done from the students perspective to improve our experiences and what was working well and that gave me an opportunity to really connect again with with more people in my institution but it also gave uh built kind of a bridge i think between students and staff which i think was important especially again coming from a place of being hybrid and a lot of different changes happening in the online space and in person kind of lessons. And then as student ambassador, I was helping uh, kind of communicate with GCSE students actually, um, as they went through a on, an online program um, of, of maths and skills experiences and things like that, and giving feedback to them, which was a great opportunity to kind of engage more widely outside of UCL as well, but also connecting with staff on a common goal to, to create outreach and more opportunities. Um, and then I'll briefly touch on, on these last things. As co-founder and co-president of the EDUSOC, I was kind of 
um, trying to build this community again and organize a lot of events for students. But the staff aspect was crucial in this because I think sometimes a lot of students have this idea to create this society and it's going to just be for students and everything like that. But it's actually become something that is a channel for staff as well. So if staff have opportunities, they can come to the Education Society and say, look, we are struggling to engage with students on a mental health level, but we think this is something that they really need. So can we come in and present something and you can kind of help us organize it and, and, and reach out to students? So that was that's something that I've really enjoyed doing um, and working with other students on doing that. Now we have a committee and, and it feels a lot more like a community and like students have an impact um, on what's going on in the institution and how we can um, work with student, uh, students and staff. Then as a transition mentor, I kind of helped um, students adapt to university life, new students within the first few months of, of being there and staff kind of gave us the materials to help do that. So that was really great. As I'm now working on the welcome team, which is kind of creating these induction events for students coming in September, um, making sure that they feel welcome in the in the physical space and trying to figure out how we can engage students online. And then finally, I'm also doing a student research fellowship, which is uh, kind of involving helping uh, a member of staff uh, with their research project and, and kind of taking a small specific specific section of that and and diving more into that and thinking about how we could do that um, in various ways. So um, what do I value in student staff partnerships? Well, I thought I would talk a little bit about this because it can maybe provide some criteria that you might assess your partnerships on or you might think um, about how you could create certain partnerships and what you might like to, to include in them and make sure that you're doing. So for myself, I really like um, ha just having the opportunity, having a role available to me that is set out in certain criteria, knowing how many hours I might be expected to do and, and having that kind of communication um, and opportunity available within my program and within UCL as a wider institution is great. So just having those roles available for students is really good. But then going one step further and thinking about accessibility, I really appreciate it when um, staff understand that we have various variable schedules and you know not everyone is living so close to university uh, we might be commuting and some people have part-time jobs um, and so it's really important that staff kind of think about what students might have going on in their lives beyond the academic um, and even within the academic, what are their more busy times and, and trying to make sure that the, the opportunities are accessible for all students is really important um, if, that, if that can be done. Um, then equality, I, I think, is also important in terms of breaking down those hierarchies between staff and students that can sometimes exist. I think staff sometimes um, have been at the institutions that that we're kind of coming into for really long times. And so they probably know a lot about the bureaucracies and the processes and systems that um, they have to go to to create change and impact. And students might not, but recognizing that and saying, OK, but you can bring something to the table still and we can talk about the different things that we're going to have to go through and you can learn something from me and I can learn something from you. I think that's a really really powerful thing and a, a, a great opportunity to share knowledge there. And then that kind of brings into um, comes into respect and and the idea that we respect each other's time and we respect what we're trying to do. And there's there's it's not um, just a one way process. We're communicating and, and we're negotiating this uh, partnership to make it work for both of us and ultimately reach the aim that we both want. So I think that's that's also a really important aspect of student staff partnerships. And finally, again, that connection. I think for me, that's been something that's been invaluable in my student experience, having a connection with different staff members and students that I might not have talked to otherwise and really finding an end goal and finding a way to have an impact on an institution that 
I really didn't know if I could impact and I really didn't know if I would make a difference. So finding out that I could do that and then doing that in ways that um, benefit students, staff and my personal development has been has been really great. Um, so I recognize that we're short on time. So if you would like to uh, contact me or ask any more questions after the webinar, then I'll put my LinkedIn in the chat. But thank you for thank you for listening. Molly, that was amazing. Um, I have one question. Do you find time to sleep? I mean, how do you how do you fit all this in at the same time as doing all of your studies? It's it's amazing. It really is. Um, there are so many powerful messages that you've managed to fit into your talk there, and I'm so pleased that you agreed to come along today to kind of to to share, if, uh, you, you know, your experiences and all, your, all this stuff with everyone. I think it's it's I think it really makes these events so much more powerful when we have fantastic people like yourself, Molly, coming along and just making it, I think, a lot more real. So thank you so much. We do have time for one uh, quick question. So if you would like to ask Molly a question, if you could raise your hand um, and we will allow you to unmute yourself. Um, uh, Nadia, I'll just give you permission to unmute your mic. OK, you should be able to ask Molly your question now. Are you there, Nadia? No. Is there anyone else that would like to ask a question? I think there's a question in the chat I could answer. Um, besides payment, well, slash, are there any other ways that uh, such activities are acknowledged? And uh, to that, I would say yes, definitely. Um, while payment is nice, I recognise that not all universities have uh, that kind of investment or, or um, a, a big kind of student participation fund available. Um, so I think, yes, yeah, certificates, badges, awards, um, even just having students be able to give a presentation at the end of it and say what they've done is really great because um, that kind of gives them the opportunity to reflect on they've done and feel a sense of achievement. And also, I think it kind of contributes to that idea of um, kind of building a set of skills for CVs as well and, and employment. So um, even saying at the end of this, you could have a reference or or we're, we'd be happy to, you know, talk to you about your further opportunities and things like that. Um, I think that can be really great. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, OK, um, in the interest of keeping to time, I think we are going to have to move on. I'm so sorry. I know we could we could keep talking to Molly all day, uh, but given how much work Molly's doing at the moment, she probably needs to go and sleep for a bit. Um, thank you so much, Molly. It's been great to have you. Um, and I, there may be a couple of questions. So if you did have five minutes, if you could just have a look in the chat, that would be brilliant. 